With final victory secured, the dominance of our clan could not longer be disputed. Faced with our invincible armies, all Japan was forced to accept the supreme leadership of a single daimyo. The heritage of our clan supported the legitimacy of our noble lord to declare himself Sei Taishogun, and thereby to found a dynasty which would determine the future of Japan and guarantee the immortality of our honor. There were some fools who did not accept the supremacy of the new shogun, but the battles which we fought to crush their insolence did not threaten our survival, as had the great battles of the past, but merely ensured that the skills of our samurai remained honed in the field of war. All the wealth of Japan flowed to the shogun, and he used it to raise mighty castles. The greatest of these was the fortress at Edo, which became the hub from which the shogun's power radiated to even the most distant provinces. Former rivals were obliged to march from every corner of Japan to subjugate themselves before the shogun. Every warrior was now under his direct control, and if any thought that the shogunate was repressive, then they were shrewd enough to keep these thoughts to themselves. All aspects of life were guided by the will and wisdom of the shogun. He encouraged the samurai to train in the arts of writing and painting, as well as the way of the warrior, while the emperor himself was freed from the destruction of day-to-day -day power. The order of society rested on strict enforcement of the social hierarchy. The peasants were reminded of their obligations at the point of assault and were soon convinced to settle into their jobs of growing making, carrying, breeding, and paying taxes for the shogun. Once again, Japan became a land for the Japanese, and there was no longer any need for the foreigners' strange superstitions or their coward weapons, and they were not missed when the bamboo curtain descended. Under this firm hand, Japan was never again torn apart by ambitious and grasping rivals as it had been during the Sengoku Jidai. United, the nations thrived, and the sons of the shogun continued to rule by obeying the traditions set down by our forefathers for hundreds of years.